Hi there, thanks so much for joining me. In today's video, I'll be unboxing a package from ReadGeek and trying out the ReadGeek tools for the first time. Many of you have heard about ReadGeek and the fact that they're an amazing solution for when you're flying because you can carry them on the plane with you and then you can use them to adjust your reads in your new destination. I am so grateful to ReadGeek for generously sponsoring this video and for sending me this package. Uh, please check out their website, which I will link in the description below. To those of you who don't know me, Hi, I'm Ron and I post oboe videos every week. I want to encourage you to like this video and to subscribe to my channel for more oboe content and so you don't miss any of my new videos. Thank you so much. I'm also on Instagram at oboron. I just got a Facebook page, so if you could take five seconds to give me a little like there, I would really greatly appreciate it and the link is in the description below. Okay, uh, let's see what's in this package. It's a bit of a surprise even for me, so I am uh, excited to see what they have sent me. Awesome. All right. So they've sent me a little article that is reprinted that was from the Downbeat magazine. And yeah, it's a jazz and blues kind of magazine. And this is just like a great little description about what the Read Geek is and what it's used for. Uh, you know, uh, improving reads and pressure regulation, cane density and read strengths. Uh, so yeah, this is uh, really interesting. It's uh, it is more specifically about single reads, uh, which is fine. And uh, I'm gonna see how I can apply it today to double reads. One of the things that I want to try to do today is actually to scrape a read from start to finish on the Read Geek. I don't know if that's possible, uh, but I'm gonna try it. So uh, you know, maybe you can uh, laugh at my failure later. Okay, so they've sent me two different Read Geeks. This one is called the Bullet, and this is the Double Geek. Gen 2 full kit. So I'll start with the uh, the Double Geek. Uh, this is uh, aimed at double read players. Uh, and it's the full kit, which is uh, very exciting. Okay, thank you for your purchase of the Double Geek. Uh, the Double Geek focuses on the specific needs of the double read player, but is useful for all. It's very interesting. It's got like a whole bunch of different parts of it that you can use to scrape. I have to say it looks like super fancy. Definitely want to be careful with it. Something that's really cool about it is this like handle. It's sort of like a reed knife and the handle actually comes off where you can put on this little tiny, tiny handle if that's what you need in the moment. Uh, so it's like really small. I'm going to be using, I think, the bigger handle because uh, I, that I think will give me more leverage. Uh, when I'm trying to scrape using this. So there's different parts of it that are supposed to be used for different parts of the reed. I'm gonna just like soak some reeds, some that are like not fully, fully finished, so I can use it to uh, adjust. And then I'm gonna soak a blank as well, uh, which is the one that I'm gonna try to scrape. And then I'll look at the bullet as well. And like, look at this. This is so, so compact. It's, it's insane how compact it is. This is incredibly small. It's like quite uh, weighty. So, you know, it, it feels like something, you know, precious. You don't want to drop it. And it's got like all these different parts of it. And you can use like all of these different corners and bevels to, uh, to scrape different parts of the reed. So this is gonna be really, really interesting to try. Okay, so this is uh, pretty exciting for me, uh, pretty new. So uh, I'll start with this reed. So what I notice is uh, the read is a little bit wild and I, uh, I want to tame it down a little bit. So what I would want to scrape normally is just a little bit on the, the sides of the tip, the sides of the heart, and uh, just to calm the read down a bit. So we'll see how that goes. I'm trying to do it with the double geek. It feels weird. I'm like, I don't know what to scrape with, but <laughs> all of it is fine to scrape with. I'm like afraid of ruining this read. Well, I'm feeling these different edges. And something tells me this is the edge that I want to use for this. So we'll see how it goes. This is the one. Okay. Oh my God, it's such a weird feeling. It's just such a different sensation than uh, scraping with a knife. Not that I can't get used to it. I do, I do see that cane is coming off well. So that's very promising to me. It just is a very new sensation. Yeah, it's like, it comes off great.
Good, and the other thing we wanted to do is to take a little bit off of the sides of the heart. So apparently this should be really easy to do. Oh yeah, and it definitely is. Like I can scrape right till the very edge of this. That's fantastic. Actually, I'm like incredibly impressed by this. Like it'll be interesting to be able to do more reed finishing with this. And it's got so many edges to it. Like I'm curious what if I use like this part of it. Oh, that's good. Oh, that's sharp. Okay, excellent. Now I'll give it a clip. Do you think I can clip with this thing? Like, I don't know. I'm afraid to try to clip with it, honestly. I, no, that's not happening today. You know what, I'm gonna go a little further with this read. I'm gonna just go a bit further and I'm gonna see if I can use this part because that part felt, ah, no! Don't make the same mistake I did. So maybe don't use this part for the tip of the reed. As sharp as it felt on the other part, I don't think it was the, it was not the look. I'm back to using the boring side of it. Okay, here's my advice when you lose a piece of the tip. It's not the end of the world, okay? Like, there's plenty of reads that, you know, are missing a little corner. There's worse things, there's worse things. Like, it's probably not gonna be a concerto read or something like that, but it definitely can still be a, a good practice read. I'm definitely getting more used to uh, using this to scrape. <laughs> Um, okay, I think it's a little better. I'm gonna move on to a different read now because I don't like to obsess over one read for forever. That doesn't help anyone. Okay, this is a really new read. I had just scraped it a couple days ago and hadn't even played on it or haven't finished it at all. So I'm doing all of the finishing of this read. So it's quite resistant. So I'm gonna go in to the tip. And it's gonna need like probably quite a bit off. When I first scrape my reeds, I leave quite a lot on the tip um, that first day. And then I come back for it later. So I wanna get a lot off the tip, especially the sides of the tip. I wanna get the reed to vibrate well. Okay, so that tip already looks much better to me. And now let's go on this side. Just trying to create more of a slope, gradual slope from the corners of the tip to the tip of the tip, scraping all the way off the plaque, just like I would with a regular knife. Okay, let me tell you, this is definitely good enough to be adjusting reads last minute at an audition. Like this is beyond that for sure. That was like barely making a sound a, a minute ago. But I can say this now, I'm never checking a bag again to go to an audition. Yeah, it can still go a bit further, but it's so in the right direction. I love that. Okay, I'm gonna shift gears and try to use the bullet, which is so tiny, but it seems to have a lot of similar edges. Like if I'm looking at it, it's got these similar bevels and on top. So it seems to be basically like kind of a mini version of the Double Geek. Yeah, and it works like just as well. It's so sharp. Like I don't need to put any pressure on the reed, which is fantastic. Like I was worried that I was gonna have to try to like dig in with this little tiny thing. And like, it's totally not that. It's like, I'm just able to, it's like using a very sharp knife, except the knife is tiny. Oh, I like this so much. Guys, I did not know what to expect. Um, and I am like so pleasantly surprised. I definitely think that like the bullet is coming with me to every gig in the future. Like this is just gonna live in my oboe case. Cause it's like last minute, oh, something's weird. Like easily. 
Okay, and now the true true test is to see if I can somehow scrape a blank using the double geek. So this is gonna be a real challenge compared to just adjusting or something like that. I'm gonna see if I can actually make a read. Okay, so to do the heart, I'm gonna actually see if I can use maybe this bevel side here. I feel pretty good about the heart. Now it's time to put in the back. Okay, so the back is not exactly the same as what I would expect using a knife. The difference, of course, is the Double Geek has no burrs on it. So the way that it's interacting with the cane is going to be a little bit different than what I'm used to with a knife. Overall, I'm, I'm not at all hopeless. So now I'm gonna put in the tip. Yeah, I don't know if I'm like super hopeful. I think the hard thing for me is really getting a ton of definition, which I could get with a very sharp knife, that seems to be a little bit difficult to get with a double geek. This is interesting. I'm holding the reed in a way that I've never held it before. I mean, it really doesn't look like too horrible. It kind of looks like how I scraped reeds when I was in high school, but the main thing I still have to get thinner on the tip. Okay, so this is kind of what my read looks like now, and uh, I'm just gonna try it for you. It's not like this is gonna be this like perfect read or anything like that. Yeah, so it's like not a horrible day one read or anything like that. I think that what will help is going in and just really doing that defined work between the plateau and the tip uh, to just really make a great transition. But I was really impressed both with the Double Geek and with the Bullet. They're both like really fantastic. I think like one or the other would be probably what I would recommend to take on the go with you and to just have at any gig or at an audition just so you're able to do some like last minute finishing um, as well. You can just use it to do like some final finishing touches because something that I found is it is actually very easy to take off like very small amounts, like as if you're using like a really, really uh, sharp knife that's like really just for like tip work and stuff like that. Like I found that to be extremely easy to use. As I was using it more, I was figuring out more how to use it to like take out of the back or to take off the plateau. So I think it's, there's a learning curve there for sure. And uh, I hope that as I'm more proficient with using it, maybe I'll put out another video that I can share my expertise with you. So uh, let me know in the comments if that's something that you're interested in. Okay, thank you so much for joining me today. I hope this was super helpful to you or entertaining at least. Uh, good luck on your oboe journey. And please let me know again in the comments if you're interested in another Read Geek video or if you have a different suggestion. I do read all the comments, so hit me up. Please subscribe and hit that thumbs up button below. It much appreciated. Additionally, if you're on Instagram, you can find me there at Oboron. Don't forget to like my Facebook page if you didn't during the start of the video. Have a great day.